Hey guys, according to Nigerian News Update, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Namde Kano, has agreed to uh, reconcile with the federal government of Nigeria. This is after the UK government intervened. You understand? I recall that uh, recently uh, some international lead, uh, uh, communities were intervening concerning this Mazen Namde Kano's continued detention, you know. Uh, asking UK government to intervene and get Mazen Namdi Kanu's released. Record that before now, uh, there was a condition that was placed before Mazen Namdi Kanu on the table. That is, if he agreed to ab abide on these conditions, he will be released. So now these conditions determine his fate in the DSS custody, which Namdi Kanu declined. And what was the condition is, first of all, before he will be released, he's going to sign, he's going to sign a document, you know, denouncing Biafra agitation, that is Biafra struggle, and um, denouncing everybody who is involved in Biafra agitations, meaning that he will proclaim a Nigerian, not IPOP, uh, please pardon me, not Biafra. Okay, Namdi Kano, according to reports, then said no. First of all, this issue of Biafra agitations, you don't pass them, you get. It's no longer in his hands, according to reports. It's no longer in his hands. He cannot decide this again because the matter don't really go far. And uh, if you can also recall that the way this agitation have gone in the Southeast, it has actually gone very far. So many persons are grieved. You understand? And this is not just the issue of coming to say today, deny Biafra agitations and ask your members, your supporters, not to, you know, uh, struggle for this again. Honestly speaking, his supporters, they will come after you. They will even make sure say they buy them. You understand? They say they're not agree. Now the Kano cannot do that because so many people don't go for this matter. So they must see the end. You understand? And this is because the Nigerian government have, you know, failed to do the need for now. They are not stuck. You know, saying so they talk, so no matter how you look down on people, you understand? When something them grand like this, mostly when somebody say, wait till you do, I'm not good. Forget about you, big person. You are going to bend down and ask. So how do we go about this? I am sorry. And that is what Nigerian governments refuse to do because President Mohamed Buhari has so much hatred against the Igbos. So he feels that using might against agitators and all that we eventually, you know, quench agitations. They never knew that what he did was a kind of motivating them the more. Funny enough, those the people that said, the region that said, Nigeria will stay one, one Nigeria, one entity. They are not the ones saying they still want to, they still want division because they are being marginalized under President Bola Tenubu government. So you see this slide, people have to be very careful how you go about things. Now, forward uh, back to this issue of US uh, UK intervention on Mazenam de Kano. According to this Niger uh, news report, says that the UK ambassador you know, of Nigeria you know, have, have actually intervened, asking the Nigerian government to look into the issue of Mazenam de Kano and getting released. They understand. But Nigerian government and some evil leaders are pushing that Mazenam de Kano should agree on that condition of him denouncing uh, Biafra's struggle, that is the key, the, the key for his freedom. If you can also understand that yesterday, Organizing Digbo accused Southeast governors. They said they have failure to release Mazen Namdekano is international. And they are doing it purposely. You understand? Everybody is fighting for their interests. Maybe they see or they feel that releasing Mazen Namdekano is going to be a problem to them. I don't even know why anybody should feel that. 
you know, considering what is happening right now in the Southeast, I think what everybody should be talking about right now is for him to get released. If the Nigerian government want to take steps and all that, they should look into the root of agitations because this matter, I don't go far. It will be very, very unfair for Mazin Amdekanu to sign such a document because it will look like a kind of victory. I bet trust that man, you know, he wouldn't do that. Yeah, let's start. He said, Biafra nation or by you get. So I believe that he won't do that. But the, 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 the issue on ground now is that the UK government eventually don't they put them out small, small. And don't forget that these people, with the, the way the, everything played out, you cannot say that their hands are clean in Mazenam the Kano's abduction from Kenya to Nigeria. So now, right now, they don't they feel say, be like say this matter, don't they come off or be careful based on some international community like US and all that. Don't they put smart for this matter? And now, the while now, when David say, US government with Donald Trump, he go for straight prison, but I'm you know, you know, say the man are no nonsense. You understand? You don't care who you be. You understand? Some people don't even they talk, say, President Bola made Tunubu 2027, he go hard because he no go agree to support Joe Biden and uh, he's, a, uh, he's a vice president actually in store President Bola made Tunubu. Because if you see the, the game they played, you know, during the, the, the court case, they refused to release those documents that uh, 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 opposition party needed against President Bola Metinubu. They refused. The U.S. government refused, refused, talking about the forfeiture and everything, the dog, the drug, whatever, and everything, and everything. The, uh, the U.S. government cover up for President Bola Metinubu, and here we are. So, guys, uh, the drop on for you. Share your thoughts below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, please. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.